boy, oh boy, it's such a sweet life here at Epic. I get to do absolutely nothing all week until my boss turns up. Hee hee hee. Terry! 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 Oh, god damn it! I nearly tripped on this large pile of money we have here. And oh, is that a new rug? Oh, oh yeah, boss. That's a that's a new rug. I hope you don't mind. I I saw it on sale when I brought it. Oh really? Um, well, how much was it? Oh, it was it was only like four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, four hundred thousand dollars. That's completely nothing. Okay, so Terry, don't worry about that. I've come here to ask if you've done any work this week. Uh, we need some content for our game Fortnite. It uh, you know, it just needs some freshening up. Do you have any ideas ready for today? update oh sure thing i do boss if you'd like to come over here i can show you here on my nice pc all of the work i have done throughout the week oh awesome right no problem i'm just gonna come and sit here in between your lap is that okay there terry oh yeah that's a sure thing boss okay so if you'd like to take a look at the pc right now okay boss so what i done was i took the old scar that we already have in the game yes and then i took this um funny looking suppressor and put it on the end of the scar Okay. And now I And now with the snip of my fingers I will turn this into content. Okay, do it. And kablammy, we now have the new Rafe, is what I like to call it. So uh yeah, how about everybody goes to the store and buys it? I'm not trolling! I am boxy, you see? <laughs> oh god damn. I don't even know what that intro was about myself, to be honest, and I don't want to talk about it. So, hello and welcome everyone to this video where I'm going to be obviously buying the Wraith schematic that I've just bullied for the last minute or two, taking it to my schematics, and obviously, quite obviously, following the Aiden Harris rules, we're going to level it up to level 130 Sunbeam. So, let's just find it amongst all of these weapons. A few inches later. Oh, here it. Oh, wait, no, that's just the Nocturno, aka the Scam Turno. They've just thrown a big black dildo on the end of it and named it the Wraith. Um, there it is. Right, fantastic. So let's take this up to the up. Wow, why is that so small? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the weapon just wants to sit small. I'm fine with that, probably because it's. It's probably gonna suck. It, let's be honest. But if it's like the siege breaker, it should be pretty good. Now, let's uh, let's just level this bad boy up. Let's not mess around. So, let's have a read of the perks. We have got fire rate. We got magazine size. We got physical damage, headshot damage, damage to missed monsters. Five headshots in a row increases weapon damage for ten seconds. Okay, so I mean, it should. Fire slow with a suppressor. I would take a fire uh, fire rate if I can. Change that. We'll have a look at what perks I can change it to in just a momento. Evolve. Okay. Is is there a a confirmation screen? <sighs> you know what? The day that uh, the we get a confirmation screen is probably the day that save the world adds a trade screen so i don't know never or in a several months time but here we go sunbeam the final upgrade and all the xp to take this baby girl all the way to level 50. putting it at dps 48,766, level 130 power level well i guess uh, what i'll do is i will grab my assault rifle squad aka urban assault we'll jump into a game and see how this baby fires Okay ladies and gents, so I'm at the menu here and for some reason I don't have any level 100 missions here, only 94. You know I like to test out my new weapons in the max missions that I can. Okay ladies and gents, so I couldn't find a game in the 94 level missions. I jumped over to the 88 and decided to do the 4 player mission because uh, people actually are doing this. So this is an 88 mission with a 4 player boost thing so the husks should be you know at a decent level i think they're 90 plus so and good enough to test the weapon on i think especially at 130 but you know we sort of just like to get a feel for the weapon you can tell if a weapon's going to be good just from the feel of it okay so i'm in the game now and we do have the wraith here the dps is now 89,000. so we're gonna craft this bad boy getting a little bit low on sunbeam i, I believe that's my only stack actually but uh, let's grab this Wraith then, and let's go take it for a feel. Okay, so I've got a couple of Husky Husks here. Oh, okay, they're 88. I thought they'd be a little bit higher, but let's give this a couple of shots. Oof. All right, this has... I... 
Okay, I'm liking the sound. It reminds me of the drum gun. Oh, wow, that is, that is really putting some bullets to work. That's not too shabby, is it? All right, let's drop that. Yeah, get get out of here, you. Oh, thank you, Paul Walker. Raw XD. Raw XD, huh? God damn. The fire rate. So I was complaining about the fire rate being a bit slower, but uh, the fire rate being a bit slower gives it the chance of... Was I complaining? I was complaining about fire rate because I wanted the accuracy on this weapon to be outstanding because you do want to be going for the headshots. Remember, the extra headshots give you the extra damage. But, I mean, you're only looking to do that on sort of husks like smashers. Um, maybe husky husks. I don't know. I feel like this weapon can kill them fairly quickly. What have I got to do in here? I've got to destroy this. What the hell is this? Is this part of the quest that I still haven't done? That's right. I still haven't completed Candy Valley quests. That's how slow and far behind I am on this game. But uh, let's go locate this van, let's get to the defense stage, and then we're really going to start unleashing some bullets with this weapon. And you know what, I'm even going to craft a spare one for my defender, so they can get a nice little feel. Okay, looks like Paul Walker here is building up nicely, let's add to this. Intentional, uh, that's to stop the... Um I'll show you, it's definitely intentional. It's to stop. <laughs> it wasn't intentional. <laughs> oh my goodness, this dude's doing my build. This guy knows. You know what, I could probably leave this here anyway. I, I'm too lazy to hammer it down. But we're going to upgrade this. Oh yeah, this is the perfect build here. Exemplary. Exemplary. I think the word I was looking for there before I started like a fool. But, uh, Blue Glow. Oh, Paul Walker. Oh, guys. Come get a round of applause in the chat for Paul Walker. He's come out here. He's grabbed all the blue glow. He's built the objective with what I can only describe as a fine build indeed. And told me that he loved me. Thank you, Paul Walker. Okay, like I said, I was going to put down a, a defender with their own assault rifle. I'll give them half the bullets. They too now have the... Um, was it called Waifu? What was this weapon called? I've completely forgot and I didn't even say Waifu as a joke. That is upsetting. What is it called? The Wraith. There we go. Wraith. Waifu, Wraith, same thing. Danilio, get out of my face before I spud you in the locket. Bruden, what's a locket? I don't know what a locket is. I just said it. Oh my goodness, they're sploders. Alright, ladies and gents. Let's do this. Let's just get right into this action here. Missing every bullet right off the spawn. Alright, okay, nearly dead. Oh, okay, I'm sort of regretting what i done. Nearly instantaneously. Okay, I'm dead. Fantastic. Take this, you husky fiend. I heard a smasher back here. Okay, go on, let's do some damage. Ooh, those were some beefy hits. That's holding a nice amount. Not much recoil. Aiden giving an efficient uh, review on the weapon. Oh, I know, right? 30,000 we're looking at base hits, though. Up to 80,000 crits, non-upgraded perks. This is a nice little assault rifle. This is sort of like the perfect mix. Get rid of you. So as you can see, the husks are level 100 because this is a four-player mission. Which is what we wanted. Aiden tests out his weapons only on the huskiest of husks. And you get out of here, you skeletal looking thing. What am I hearing? Is that that's not my gun I'm hearing, right? No, it was like a laser beam. Is that a tiger jaw? Yeah, that makes sense if he's running tiger jaw with the raptor. Okay, let's try this gun at some distance. Um, I, I was face up for a couple of seconds, but okay, here we go. So the drop off damage is quite a lot, obviously, because the weapon is suppressed. But the weapon silenced. It's not a silencer. It's a suppressor. Let's not even get started on that topic because I know how serious some people can take it. Like myself. It doesn't silence the sound. It only suppresses it. Herp derp. Send that smasher somewhere else, man. This is actually nice. I'm getting Grave Digger vibes from this. I'm not lying. Grave Digger vibes. And the thing is, if you don't pick up this weapon from the store, 
It will be in birthday llamas in the future, but you won't be able to get this weapon from just normal llamas. So, hey, I mean, this could be the next grave digger, but in a, you know, with a chance at getting it in the future, but only from birthday llamas. Danilio, I got your back after I whip this smasher. And Nay Nay. Don't know why I said that, but there's another smasher. Oh my goodness. All of these smashers. Drop that. Oh, okay, he didn't even flinch. <laughs> Smash was like, God damn. This puny little girl. <laughs> Don't worry, Paul, I've got you, my man. Okay, the gas traps I said I craft. Here's two 130 gas traps. And is this your blue glow? Oh, excellent. Well, it's mine now, and we're going to use that to start the mission immediately. All right, there we go. We got the objective up and running, and now we defend. I'm pretty sure my defender is absolutely slaying up here. Look at this. I only use what? What? Two hundred bullets? Oh no, it's this guy. Do I have any melee weapons? I actually do. From Challenge the Horde, I believe. Oh, you don't keep them, do you? Oh my god, can you imagine that? If you kept the weapons from Challenge the Horde. That's right. I done Challenge the Horde earlier. Shout out to Ultra Instinct. He was some guy in my game getting real hyped. Aiden, this isn't a scythe review. Get back to this weapon. Oh yes, let me just craft some ammo whilst we shoot. I'm holding X and shooting. I'm playing Claw right now. Do you know what Claw means? <laughs> you didn't trick scope on Black Ops 2. Uh, Aiden, did you just call it trick scope instead of quick scope? Or trick shot? Yeah, I'm only just remembering what it was actually called and realizing that I just failed at calling it a... <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it. I think I've called it a trick scope for so long as a meme, it's actually just become the thing that I call it. <laughs> Yo, you know what I should do, right? I should get the Outlander. You know, I don't know if you guys remember, I assume only a few of you remember it. The time that I punched a husky husk and oh, god damn. The time that I punched a like husky husk and he just went like flying, like he just died. He didn't go flying, so he just like he just got absolutely slaughtered. Though it's so funny. I used the punch, you know, to clear stuff, and I hit the husk and it killed him. But the flop he made to the floor was just insane. Oh well, okay, we'll see. We'll see you later, gas traps. That was not the weapon I wanted to pull out. I I done the LBRB thing and I pulled out my minigun. Can you imagine being slowed down and then pulling out a minigun whilst on 2,000 health? I'll let you get the revive, bro. Oh, well, let's return the favour, huh? Oh, <laughs> yo, these husks have no remorse. We're like down and they're throwing gas tanks at us. All right, let's actually work. Let's get some actual damage going because th th this could potentially be a fail. Oh, okay, yeah, I see, I see, I see. Let's get this up. Okay, I can't, for some reason, I can't build. No, that's not what I wanted. No, okay, okay, we've got 25 seconds, 25 seconds. This is now a state emergency. Please, let me just get a high view so I can start taking out these... I just want to take out the little lobbers, man. Absolutely slaughtering. What the hell are we on? 7k. Oh no 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 no. Two seconds left, and are we good? Are we good? Please say we're good. Oh my goodness, that was a close one. G G team. Wow. But let's get back to the weapon screen and let's give a little little bit of thoughts on the weapon. Let's grab our loot first though. Got 114 gold, 48,000 survivor XP. Oh my goodness, that's such little XP. Oh, 152 perk up though. Not too mad about that so let's hit the schematics and then we're going to inspect the wraith so upgrade modify perks fire rate what can we have over here we got we got we got the damage reload crit damage critical rating magazine size um i would probably go for magazine size yes the reload on it is pretty good especially with urban assault other characters, not too sure, but I would definitely go for magazine size. For the, uh, element, you go for hell, you go for whatever you want. Now, headshot damage, it makes sense to use uh, headshot damage because you can't edit the, this perk. 
So obviously any boost to headshots, which is going to get you playing for headshots, is probably the way to go. So that you could do two headshot damages here, which would be pretty insane. Oh my goodness, is that three damage perks you could do? You could do three base damage perks with a magazine and just slay. And then if you just went for headshots and got them, you just get increased base damage. Oh my goodness, that would be insane. But as I was saying, this weapon gives off Grave Digger vibes. Now, I don't have a Grave Digger myself, obviously we know about that, but I've used many Grave Diggers in my time, and I, I have to say it does have the Grave Digger feel with a slightly less fire rate. Now, obviously, if you upgrade the fire rate on this weapon, then it probably would feel very, very similar, because obviously the Grave Diggers I've used have had max fire rate, but uh, yeah, overall, the gun, the recoil was fantastic. Um, Anyone, even with a flinchy hand, could probably hit headshots. Easy peasy. Um, magazine size, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Uh, uh, the actual weapon itself is a must-buy. I would go buy it. I mean, hell, I have brought it, but if you haven't, go buy it. You have to go to loot, event, and it's like, what, 1,600 odd? Um, there we go. 1,680 for the Wraith, which is, if you guys don't have a Nocturno, I can guarantee you guys are like, oh my god, Aiden, how do I get this weapon? From the store, go get it now, it's a great weapon. Also, if you guys don't know, if you go to Road Trip and go to Weekly Challenge the Horde, the new reward is Field Agent Rio, who is a mythic outlander, to my knowledge. Obviously, I will go and pick her up as soon as I can, and I will review her just as soon as possible. Um, let's just have a gander at my, my hero XP. Yes, we've got enough, ladies and gents, so that'll be a video soon. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell next to the subscribe button to be notified with my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Adios. Boy, oh boy, it sure is hard work in a day, Big Ear. Oh, I've literally done nothing all day. I hope my boss doesn't turn up. Terry! Terry, Terry, oh, God damn it! I need a trip to all this money we have here. Oh, oh, that's a nice rug. When, do, when did we get that? No, oh, you know, we we brought it like yesterday. You know, it's uh, it looked nice. I just thought we'd pick it up. Oh, really? Uh, how much did that cost us? Oh, you know, it's only like four hundred thousand dollars. Just a little bit of chump change. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine by me. Okay, so I've come to you because we need some more content in For Honor. Um, you know, being the designer all by yourself, have you created any more content for us? Gee, oh gee, I sure, I sure have, boss. I haven't been sitting here on my ass all week doing absolutely nothing. Um, do you want to come take a look? I'll quickly show you. Yeah, sure thing, and uh, can I ask why I sound like all... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why did it, why have I got Mickey Mouse and Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> That's the voices. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to throw this at the end as a blooper.